I know we are already at 9 p.m. or uh, 9.02. And with that being said, if you'd like to leave, you're welcome to. Here is one thing why I think uh, we, we are trying to squeeze on one other more lightning talk because this actually relates uh, to COVID-19. Uh, Ender claims that he uh, may have designed a vaccine for COVID-19 and he wants to present it here. And it's going to take two minutes only. Nope, you can have two. <laughs> Come on up. Your time's running now. <laughs> Plug, plug that in and go. Okay. So, hi everyone. Many of you know me. I'm Andre. I run a delivery and gene therapy and biological engineering company called Lycandel. So, we generally speaking design these fragments of proteins that can target any cell. So we're really good at modeling small fragments of functional motifs within biology that we can make synthetically and then use for various purposes. And typically we've been focused on you know, gene therapy, CRISPR delivery, sort of complex bioengineering uh, phenomena. And when coronavirus came out, when the sequence came out, we didn't have the structural biology figured out. So we actually reverse engineered it like nine days before the science and the nature and the cell papers came out. You have with one minute to tell us your solution. So, and the long story short, we simulated this thing based on SARS, figured out how it binds, figured out small binders, and then reverse engineered them to make amino epitope recognition tags that can be recognized by antibodies and T cells. Subsequently, uh, we've done a lot of CRISPR work, et cetera. Feel free to reach out. And we were good at mapping all these things. And I built a scaffold for like this cool protein like little thing. And, if this loads properly in the next 30 seconds that Allison is giving me, because she's a hard ass, I can basically do this. So we got like our coronavirus binding motif here. We can add a little mesh to it, and it'll look cool. Here's a mesh. Okay, that's how coronavirus sticks to the ACE2 receptor, but fuck this, it's too big, so we want something smaller, so we're going to do that. And then we can print that stuff really quickly with peptides, uh, synthesizers, and then basically put it on a multivalent vaccine, and then you know make like a billion dollars, but more importantly, cure like everyone from coronavirus, and hopefully do more useful stuff. That's all I got. Okay. Mumbling so fast that no one can ask you a question. Great. And I think <laughs> with that being said, we started on coronavirus. We're ending on coronavirus. I think Wear your this masks. is really it is just a teaser for you to talk to Andre about why this is not publicly available and maybe talk to the FDA as well. Um, and all right. So thank you so much. I think we've had like just in the past half an hour like a lot of like little dips into a bunch of really, really interesting science. Um, Andrew can put his mask on again now that he's back in the audience. Um, and so with that being said, I release you hereby to be mindful of your time. I do think that we can hang out a little bit more while at least we're scuffling uh, and trying to get the chairs together and try to clean up a little bit. I see some champagne, uh, at least some wine left. So um, with that being said, I will uh, send out the uh, collaboration spreadsheet and I'm hoping you all sign up to the collaboration document. This has only been one of hopefully many salons. Thank you so much again to Sonia and to 100 Plus Capital for uh, all allowing us to be in this space. Uh, it's been really fantastic. And I can't wait to welcome you to another one. All right, bye-bye, everyone.